the next 31 we, I, we had left last sunday aho batyad adhut me parashasa balo nivrtim gavito begat puna insasa so papena bi hinsita kala sadhu samatvena bhayad muchit it is most astonishing that although this innocent child was taken away by the rakshasas to be eaten he has returned without having been killed or even injured because this demon was envious cruel and sinful he has been killed for his own sinful activities this is the law of nature an innocent devotee is always protected by the supreme personality of god and a sinful person is always vanquished for his sinful life we can see the word has been used over here innocent devotee innocent means not foolish innocent means a devotee with full of awareness about his life as much as i can understand what is the meaning of innocent over here awareness of life living within krishna consciousness this is the meaning of innocent and they are protected by supreme personality of godhead why supreme personality himself coming to protect them why what is the reason behind it because supreme personality is not our servant he is complete aapkam atmaram he has nothing to do but it is written that devotee is always protected by the supreme personality of god because when a devotee started following the teaching of supreme personality what he say the supreme personality feel the the completeness of what he did for his devotees he feels that really there is someone really there is someone who is eager who is conscious to follow my words and at that time when he sees someone is there who is really following his words supreme personality hearts melts and in this situation he is ready to do anything for this type of devotee so being after becoming a vaishnava after becoming a devotee it is very important that we need to be conscious now prabhupad is writing more in proper krishna consciousness life means innocent devotional life and a sadhu is one who is fully devoted to krishna sadhu means full of consciousness as confirmed by krishna in bhagavad gita bhajate mam ananya bhag sadhu eva sa mantavya anyone fully attached to krishna is a sadhu attached attachment only attachment 
not that many of the many attachment one of this no fully fully not like some percentage here some percentage there no then the maharaj and the gopis and other cowherd men could not understand that krishna was the supreme personality of godhead playing as a human child and that his life was not in danger under any circumstances Prajwasi, we are not ready to understand this. Your Krishna was playing like a normal human child. Rather, because of their intense parental love for Krishna, they thought that Krishna was an innocent child. and had been saved by the supreme lord then see what happens when your love is very intense and you think that and if it is child the love becomes that doesn't matter even god is there the so all those who loves they think like this my god this should not happen with this child this should not happen with my child this should not happen with my child they always considering krishna is a ordinary child ordinary innocent child and that whatever happened with him badly and he has been saved by the hand of god and of the lord means bajwachi they were on they were only knowing love they were loving krishna and they don't wanted that anything should ha- happen wrong with krishna this was their la not only love love with so much carefulness love with full of care this in the material world because of intense lust and desire for enjoyment the present material world is only seeking for his personal enjoyment any kind of enjoyment senses tongue ear feel house any kind of enjoyment car bungalow whatever one becomes implicated in simple life more and more and because of this type of different enjoyment awareness is not lost they are enjoying without love this type of enjoyment is completely empty with love and then the enjoyment that is without love it brings a person an unfortunate situation that in sinful mind brings this person more and more deep and sinful activities kama esa krodha esa rajoguna samudhava 
ಆಮ ಏನು ಕ್ರೋಧ ಬೋಧ ಈಸ್ ಅವೇಕೆನ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ರಜೋಗುಣ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಹಾಯ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಲೈಫ್ but if one becomes krishna conscious the process of devotional service shravanam kirtanam emerges once polluted life of material existence and one is purified and protected by the supreme personality of god so as i said that consciousness will come and what will happen after consciousness will come the mind will go in devotional services you will like to listen a person will like to do kirtan by all this process whatever the pollution came because of this material existence it helps to little wash out ಶೃಣ್ಮತಂ ಸ್ವ ಕಥಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಸರ್ವಣ ಕೀರ್ತನ ಇನ್ ಡಿವೋಷನಲ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಒನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಫೇತ್ ಇನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಫೇತ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸರೆಂಡರ್ ರಕ್ಷಿಸ್ಯತಿ ವಿಶ್ವಸ one of the process of surrender is that one should simply depend on krishna surrendering means 100% dependency convince that he will give one all protection i need not to go anywhere that krishna will protect his devotees is a fact and nand maharaja and the other inhabitants of vrindavan accepted this very simply although they did not know that the supreme lord himself was present before them even the krishna was there that everybody in the inhabitants is devotee is a fact convinced that he will give one all protection one should simply depend on krishna convinced that he will give one all protection that krishna will protect his devotee is a fact and nanda maharaja and the other other inhabitants of vrindavan accepted this very simply so we can see around us that right right now did now it is also the situation of other devotees also situation of other devotees we can see many devotees how was their life before and how is their life now although they did not know that the supreme lord himself was present before them prajwasi was where they were not aware that krishna himself is bhagwan and he is there just beside him why because when you consider someone your own then nothing is special very closeness closeness vanquished or the finish all the discrimination who are you 
they know only relation prajwasi very believing only in relation our krishna our gopal our kanaiya upon our girdari ha our mohan our sham sundar there have been many instances in which a devotee like pralad maharaj or dhruva maharaj has been put in difficulty even by his father but has been saved under all circumstances the example of these two devi- devotees are there so many difficulties came in their life but they have been saved therefore our only business is to be to become krishna consciousness i depend only on krishna for all protection saint percent dependency can help us maybe some test will be there before he will give you something possible that he can test you and if we have lot of patience he shown your patience you if you shown your humility then success is will be there so from today we should do that we should completely depend fully on krishna on radha rani our problem is that we started depending on this material world with many my god it, it has been done by you oh if you if you were not there what would happen ha huh? what could happen if you were not there my god you made my work so very easy actually nothing done by anyone all has been done by lord text 32 kim kim nastapakshin madhokshtarjanam purtest tat mukta bhutsohridam yat sampareta punareva balako dishtyasam bandhunu pranyannu napastita nanda maharaj and others said we must previously have performed austerities for a very long time now nanda maharaj talking with other people he said that we definitely in our past life did so so many austerities worship the supreme personality of god in performed pious activities for public life constructing public roads and wells and also given charity as a result of which this boy although faced with that has returned to give happiness to his relatives the so thinking like that what they did in the past life that we constructed we made roads and wells for water and so many things in charity and that is the result of which this boy although faced with death has returned to give happiness to his relatives this was the brajwasi's thinking nanda maharaj confirmed that by pious activities one can become a sadhu means one can one who thinks that his life is completely bored completely useless no joy is there no happiness is there no blissful situation is there then simply was what what need who so ever doing pious activities for the supreme personality of god head he can become sadhu so that one will be happy and at home and wants children 
So grihasthas are also sometimes sadhu. The family people. Because in the limited collection, they have everything limited. They have limites, limitation on their senses. How much to use, how much to not. In Shastra, there are many injunctions for Karmis and Gyanis. Especially for Karmis. By which they can become a pious and happy even in material life. Karmis people. According to Vedic civilization, one should perform activities for the benefit of the public. Different people, such as constructing public roads, planting trees on both sides of the road, so that people can walk in the shade, and constructing public well, so that everyone can take water without difficulty. Yeah, this type of thing. One should perform austerity to control one's desire. This is also one of the things. It is said you have to do little austerity to control desire. Different type of austerities that we can perform by our senses. We no need to close our eyes, but just to change the views. What we need to see with these eyes, darshan of Sri Radha Mohan, darshan of Gurudev, darshan of Sadhus, darshan of Vaishnavas. Reading the story or katha of the Vaishnavas through the books and scripture. With the mouth, only eating prashad, not going here and there eating all the time. With the ear, need to listen, Harikatha, Sankirtan. Huh? So these are the austerities of senses to control them. Slowly, slowly by the practice, our senses are in our control. Not in our control. All senses are, we just produce in front of our Swamini, and Swamini will control everything. But we have to do it. It's not like that. If something has given, mantra, Diksha Mantra or the Mahamantra is given by Gurudev, this we have to do. It's just not like that we can sitting uselessly and the mercy will flow to us. No, not possible. One should perform austerity to control one's desire and one must simultaneously worship the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Thus one becomes pious and as a result one is happy even in material conditions of life. If we follow these things, it is very possible. Six thirty-three. Meaning of this purpose that as much good things we can do for others, not only making roads and wells, whatever good things we can do, not only digging the wells or the making the roads, no. Whatever is good we can do for others. We will become happy. We will become blissful. Unconditionals, whatever we can do for others. 
unconditionally. I'm not thinking in the mind that, oh, I will be become famous now. People will know me that I'm doing so much this and that. Sometimes it happens. It's natural. Because when we didn't surrender our all senses, ourselves, this is very possible that things will come like that to disturb the mind. I am doing so much austerity. I am doing so much charity. A small, in th small things can come all the time in you. But when a devotee is conscious, innocent devotees, innocency means consciousness. When a devotee is conscious and doing the, all the things and always being, being in connection, the connectivity is there. Without connection lost. Then by this practice, the one day it happens automatically in a devotee life. So if I am wrong somewhere, you can ask some question. And just, just knock me. Give a wake up call. Text thirty three. Dishwad Bhutani Bahusho Nandukopo Brihadvane Basudeva Vachu Bhuyo Maniamas Vishwutaha. Having seen all these incidents in Brihadvana, Nanda Maharaj became more and more astonished and he remembered the words spoken to him by the Vasudeva in Matra. By looking all these incidents, the now the memory is going that what my Friend, brother, Vasudeva Saint told me in Mathura. Text 34. Ek dharva kamadaya swank maro pivamini prasnutam pai amasasthanam sneha paripluta. One day Mother Ishoda having taken Krishna up and placed him on her lap was feeding him milk from her breast with maternal affection. The milk was flowing from her breast and the child was drinking it. Text 35-36 Pith prayasa janini sutasya ruchir smitam mukham laliyati rajan jimbato dridashe idam kham rodasi jyotir nikmasha surindu Vaishwasanam buddhinscha duipan nangas tudur dhitaru duipan nangan astudur hitri vrinani bhutani yani istri jangamani. O King Parikshit, now Sukhdev Goswami saying to Parikshit Maharaj. O King Parikshit, when the child Krishna was almost finished drinking his mother's milk and Mother Yashoda was touching him. And looking at his beautiful, brilliantly smiling face, the baby yawned and Mother Yeshuda saw in his mouth the whole sky. The higher planetary system and the earth, the luminaries in all directions, the sun, the moon, fire, air, the seas, islands, mountain, rivers, forests and all kinds of living entities moving and non moving. Yoga Maya here helped in the pastime playing all this pastime of Sri Krishna. And Yoga Maya made everything very ordinary. So here was an opportunity for Krishna to show his mother that the whole universe is situated within him. The two things are there that Mother Yasoda was always worried about Krishna. Krishna thought, my God, she is my devotee and now she is also my mother. All the time, his, her worriness her fearfulness is not so good. 
So maybe possible I try to do something with the help of Yog Maya that she, let's see if she can understand. Krishna is not 100% confirmed over here. We should think like this. He was just trying. You see, in the Vatsalya, Krishna is even God, but he, his mind is not working in front of mother. He is just trying to make mother that no need to so fearful. Are it to me about you thinking, you see that everything is existing inside me. I am not ordinary. I think the Krishna wanted to show Mother Yasoda that he is not an ordinary child. He is Bhagwan. His mother that the whole universe is situated within him. And also shown that she is also there inside the mouth. In his small form, Krishna was kind enough to show his mother the Virat Rupa. One Virat Rupa is shown in Arjuna in, in, that, in Kurukshetra. But here, as a small child, he shown everything to mother. That how big he is, how big he could be. So that she could enjoy seeing what kind of child she had on her lap. The rivers have been mentioned here as the daughters of the mountains. Nagams and Duhitra. It is the flowing of the rivers that makes big forests possible. There are living entities everywhere. Some of them moving and some of them not moving. No place is vacant. This is a special feature of God's creation. On the other hand, he wanted to show that all the places, whatever is there, all created by him. And he is everywhere. Where there is life, he is also there. And where we think that there is no life, he is also there. Living and in non-living, both places is exist. This Nishinga Dev is the example of this. Text 37. Saviksha Vishwam Sasa Rajan Sanjat Vebtuhu. When Mother Ishoda saw the whole universe within the mouth of her child, a heart began to throb. And in astonishment, she wanted to close her restless eyes. She was shocked to see all this and will, she was not believing on her eyes that what she is looking. So she closed for a while her eyes. Why this happened? Because she was in too much love with, his, with her son. She was not considering that Krishna is a supreme personality of Godhead. Now in proper because of her pure material love. Yeah. Pure material love. Sorry, maternal love. Excuse me. Motherly love. Mother Yashoda thought that this wonderful child playing so many tricks must have had some disease. She was considering that my child is sick. She did not appreciate the wonder shown by her child. No. Mother. How she can jump there? Oh, Krishna, you have shown me everything. Wow. You are a super child. And here she was thinking, Lala, what happened with my child? All these ghostly type things are appearing in his mouth. 
definitely something happened someone done something wrong with him rather she wanted to close her eyes she closed her eyes she didn't want to see so was she was simply was she was not considering what is this this is not krishna is not doing someone is doing some magic enchanting on him she was expecting another danger and therefore her eyes become restless like those of a deer cub this was all the arrangements of yoga maya the relationship between mother yashoda and krishna is one of the pure maternal love in that love mother yashoda did not very much appreciate the display of the supreme personality of god its opulences what mother yashoda need to do with this all, all these things what she will do if the krishna shown her mountains and river what she will do with this sun or moon simply sun i am mother and you are my son this bhava is there only this so see that saw that this is just something ghostly some ghost is there in that love mother yashoda did not very much appreciate the display of the supreme personality of god at opulence at the beginning of this chapter two extra verses sometimes appear evam bahuni karmani gopanam sam sayoshitam nandasya gehe vardhe purvam vishnu janardana in this way to chastise all kill and kill the demons the child krishna demonstrated many activities in the house of nanda maharaj and the inhabitants of braja enjoyed these incidents एवं सावर्धे विष्णु नंद गेहे जनादन कुरवन अनिशम आनंदम गोपाल सो जोषित टू इनक्रीज द ट्रांसेंटेंटल प्लेजर ऑफ द गोपाल एंड द गोपी कृष्णा द किलर ऑफ ऑल डीम वॉज दस रेस्ड बाय हिज फादर एंड मदर नंद एंड यशो Sripad Vijay Dwaja Tirtha also adds another verse after the third verse in this chapter. Vistare neha karunyat sarva papa pranasnam bhaktum arhasi dharma dharma na dayalus tam iti prabho. Parikshit Maharaj then requested Sukhdev Goswami to continue speaking. such narrations about the past time of krishna so that the king could enjoy from them transcendental bliss so in our life actually this this is the end of bhakti vedanta purports of the 10th canto Seventh chapter of Shrimad Bhagavatam entitled "The Killing of the Demon," Rinavarta. So, I will tell you that Rinavarta is none of any other like that. This our spinning mind that moves on unnecessary, completely useless things. And when it got the chance, it takes you high in the sky. Complete, totally finish you. So the things that I said last time to make heavier. When your pious things will be heavier in your life, Rina will, Rina Varta will not come near to you. With the balance, the things are already that disturb us already there. It will be there. It was there before. It is there. we no need to see that side we increase the other side when the weight 
of this side will be high automatically this will go up up means free finish so this happens because of the daily practice if i am saying something it doesn't mean that i am saying just for you people is a two things happening i am sharing with you also i am speaking also and i am myself also listening to change myself it's not like that that i am saying something for you people oh i am maharaj <laughs> it's not like that i am just commonly talking with you people because you are my own my family member so as as a family member shares with other family member it is like this so i'm just sharing and this sharing is not only for you people this is as well as as well as for me also i have to also check my also to the so many things are written so many things i'm saying all the sunday what what i got with this also i changed myself change myself or not i am able to getting the benefit of all this the saying or not or just to speaking and the air or words are going in there no it's not like that actually by your mercy i will be also able to change many things in my life that's why it is very important to come in front of you sharing with you telling you making you listen reading something in front of you this is the my motive actually why i am reading you can also read this book you are not that uneducated people you are also you can know but i am coming i am sharing and things are coming out so little i am understanding first then i am able to say and with this understanding i need to also change myself i need to also implement all these things in my life otherwise this will be useless my reading will be like fake so my dear i think uh, i should conclude here if you permit me to conclude or uh, the next uh, sunday i can start also what do you say because the chapter 8 is now lord krishna shows the universal form within his mouth so already the initiative has been taken here in by krishna in front of mother yashoda anyway time is there so i can continue chapter 8 the summary of 8th chapter is as follows this chapter describes the ceremony of giving a name to krishna namakaran sanskar as per hindu hindu rituals sanatan rituals it also describes his crawling that he started crawl on the floor is playing with the cows and is eating earth and again showing the universal form to his mother yeah this is also very important krishna no need to generally in india the children who plays on the floor because in india it is like this they go outside in the courtyard also sometimes and then they wait with their finger they scratch the earth and then this earth finger they keep in their mouth when the mother says oh, you did you eat earth did you eat earth oh dirty boy dirty boy then they clean ah open the mouth ah show me show me still today the same thing of mother yashoda is going on it is it happens so so what you ate so what you ate mother saying like this to the baby oh you ate mitti 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 you ate earth not good then they are putting their finger inside the mouth and then one day vasudeva sent for gargamuni the family priest of the yadu vamsha and thus gargamuni went to the house of nanda maharaj who received him very well and requested him to give name to krishna and balrama gargamuni of course reminded nanda maharaj that kamsa was looking for the son of devaki and said that if he performed the ceremony very gorgeously the ceremony would come to the notice of kamsa who could then suspect that krishna was the son of devaki nanda maharaj therefore requested gargamuni to perform this ceremony without anyone's knowledge because if he was kamsa knowing that he could come over there 
and Gargamuni did the same because Balarama, the son of Rohini, increases the transcendental bliss of other. His name is Rama. One of the name of Balarama is Ram, and because of his extraordinary strength, he is called Baladev. He attracts the Yadus to follow his instruction, and therefore his name is Sankarshan. Krishna, the son of Yashoda, previously appeared in many other colors, such as white. red and yellow and he had now assumed the color black because he was sometimes the son of vasudeva his name is vasudev according to his various activities and qualities he has many other names with the qualities the devotee call his name actually what the devotee likes he can give name to his is to dev after thus informing nand maharaj and completing the name giving ceremony gargamuni advised nand maharaj to protect his son very carefully and then depart he left from there yeah. sukadeva goswami next described how the two children crawl walk on their small legs played with the cows and calves stole butter and other milk products and broke the butter pots in this way he described many naughty activities of krishna and balara the most wonderful of these occurred when krishna's playmates complained to mother yashoda that krishna was eating earth mother yashoda wanted to open krishna's mouth to see the evidence so that she could chastise him sometimes she assumed the position of a chastising mother all the time oh so what you did what you did don't do this don't do i told you sit at one place don't go anywhere go go you like this. and at the next moment she was overwhelmed with maternal love quickly no longer quickly changing after describing all these to maharaj parikshit sukhdev goswami at maharaja parikshit's request praised the fortune of mother yashoda and nanda nanda and yashoda were formerly drona and dhara this many time we and by the order of brahma they came to this earth and had the supreme personality of godhead as their son now the everything will come in details after the text text 1 shukde goswami saying garga purohito rajan yadunam samuhatpa prajam jagam nandasya vasudeva prachodita Sukhdeva Goswami said, "O Maharaj Parikshit, the priest of the Yadu dynasty, namely Gargamuni, was highly elevated in austerity and penance. Was then inspired by Vasudeva to go see Nand Maharaj at his home. तम दृष्टवा परमपिता प्रतिधाय कृतांजलि आनर्चा दोक्षध्या प्रणिपात पुरा सरम तम दृष्टवा परमपिता व्हेन नंद महाराज साव गर्गमुनी प्रेजेंट एट हिज होम नंद वाज सो प्लीज्ड दैट ही स्टूड अप टू रिसीव हिम विद फोल्डेड हैंड्स दिस इज द ट्रेडिशन ऑफ द सनातन कल्चर whenever some devotee or she some vaishnava sadhu or brahman he give his respect to them a lot and the same culture even today somehow many of us are still 
preserving this culture. Although seeing Gargamuni with his eyes, Nanda Maharaj could appreciate that Gargamuni was Adhokshaja, that is, he was not an ordinary person seen by material senses. Text 3. Means to say that Nanda Maharaj didn't see that there is not any reason behind the Gargamuni came to his house without any information. Nanda Maharaj was shocked. He was surprised. Supervistam Katatityam Giras Sunut Sunirtiamanim Nandi Yitva Babid Brahman Purana Sakarvam Kim Supervistam Katatityam Giras Sunirtiamanim When Gargamuni has been properly received as a guest and was very comfortably seated, Nanda Maharaj submitted with his gentle and submissive words, Dear Sir, because you are a devotee, you are a fool in everything. Yet my duty is to serve you. Kindly order me. What can I do for you? Mahadi Chananam Ninam Grihinam Dinichet Sam Nisre Saya Bhagavan Kalapate Nanita Kuchit Mahadi Chananam Ninam Grihinam Dinichit. Oh, my Lord. Oh, great devotee, persons like you move from one place to another, not for their own interest. Wow. Paramaharath ke karne sadhun dara sahir. Sadhus always leave their life for other. But for the sake of poor hearted grihastha householders, Otherwise, they have no interest in going from one place to another. Kalyanam karoti sadhunam. This is the quality of sadhu always thinking about other, others' welfare. How the people will have, people will happy. How this prosperity, how the blissful situation will come in their life. This is the motive of sadhus. A sadhu becomes sadhu because of this. For others to help others in every aspect of the life. Purpur. As factually stated by Nanda Maharaj, Gargamuni, being a devotee, had no needs. Similarly, when Krishna comes, he has no needs. Krishna also no need to come. He can rest there in Golok Vrindavan. He can rest in Vaikuntha nicely. For he is Purna Atma Rama, nonetheless. He descends to his to this material world to protect the devotees and vanquish miscreants. Paritranaya Sadhunam. This is the mission of Supreme Personality of Godhead. And devotees also have the same mission. One who executes this mission of Paropkara, performing welfare activities for people in general, is recognized by Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead as being very, very dear to him. We are fortunate that we have something to do in seva, like here you see the Prem Prasad seva is going on, children's education seva is going on, multiple different sevas are going on here. Huh? Taking of the garden of Radharani, this seva is also there. Cleaning seva is also there. Cooking seva. The many different multiple seva is going on. So 
So this all means parokara. Parokar means not that this should come not should not come in the mind that I am doing something. Doing okay. But this should not come. I done. No. I'm just become a mediator. I am not fortunate that I am doing seva. I am fortunate because people are accepting my seva. They are giving me chance to do seva. That's why I am fortunate. If I am giving someone and he is not taking, this my seva becomes useless. They give a chance to us to do seva. Then this becomes meaningful. We giving, this is not meaningful. Someone is accepting with our hand. This is meaningful. So they are giving a chance to us to do something. The Supreme Personality of Godhead has been very, very dear to him. And by doing this parapkara and this seva, he becomes a more near and dear to Sri Krishna, Sri Radharani. Nachatasman Manishesu Kashin me Priya Krittamaha. Similarly, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has advised this Parupkara and has especially advised the inhabitants of India. Bharata Bhumite Hoila Manusya Janma Yara Janma Sarthaka Kauri. Kara Parup Kara. Fortunate enough that you took birth as a human in Bharata, in this country, India. And how this life will be called successful? Janama Sarthaka Kori. Make this life useful. How? Kara Parup Kara. To help others, to do something for others, to bring out them from difficult situation, help them in their difficult situation. This will make your life as a human in this country successful. Otherwise, just like cat and dogs and pigs, no difference. Jai Jai Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe Mitai Gaur Premanande Thank you very much Thank you Shah Chai Page 433 Kishori Didi I am telling you Eighth chapter, mm -hmm. verse number four, we are tenth canto. And after finishing eight, this four part, then eight four. TK. In text five. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sundara. I like to do for two minutes. Ah, ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> With my Batanga. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare.
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय हो जय जय श्री राधे निताई गौर विमानंदी हरी वो आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू सी ऑल ऑफ यू सोन आई विल गेट चांस टू सी यू पीपल व्हेन यू विल ऑल विल बी हियर इन मुंगेर मंदिर यस 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 या या यू ऑल विल बी हियर आई एम जस्ट वेटिंग सुंदरम प्रभु अंधकार प्रभु किशोरी दीदी श्रृंगार रसा माई गॉड स्वीट डिवोटी श्रृंगार रसा दीदी केवल भक्ति दीदी श्रृंगार रसा प्रभु जी केवल भक्ति दीदी देयर एंड अदर जापानीज दीदी फैमिली पीपल विल बी ऑल देयर एंड सुंदरम प्रभु आई होप दैट ही विल बी आल्सो दिस टाइम विल डेफिनेटली कम थैंक यू You you bring it. You bring us to the Daven today. Yeah. So it's a nice big means uh, the flow of the river will be very strong that time when all devotees will be here. Uh, yeah. Just waiting for this nice time, and from inside I'm I'm very because when the ashram is full of devotee, somehow doesn't matter how. But yeah, it's it looks very nice. Every corner you go, every corner you go, and you see ah, okay, and the ka prabhu, oh, this prabhu, oh, Radhe 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 means this Radha Rani name is always there on the lips. Doesn't matter how, why, eh? But it the name is always so. This gives a real additional energy, and I think keeps away many. unnecessary things so the gathering of devotee doesn't matter on which level but gathering of devotee vaishnavas associations is very important in one's life if empty then empty full means useful <laughs> when ashram is full this is useful so i like thank you very much just for listening and share i reading and any question is there where because if your, your question will also um uh, increase my knowledge actually knowledge not necessary but yeah the positive knowledge to make one understand what is spiritual life uh what is vrindavan what is uh, radha krishna 
this is very important to know if you are not knowing that what you will say to others so this knowledge it means to just to extend the radharani and krishna's love to bring more and more people in this flow this knowledge is for that not for myself if i will keep become knowledgeable that it will be full stop also can come because when the book is complete then no more pages are there i don't want this type of book i want the pages should not finish <laughs> every day new page to come <laughs> so no full stop jay jay sri radhe thank you very much <laughs>